Shimai GTHM, uh, the Growl is on sale this week, and I got it for 8.54, but it's more like 1.2 million without a discount, I think. You've also got the Dinka Jester, but this is a far better car for racing in. And we had the uh, S2 on offer last week, so I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between the two, performance-wise and customization-wise, if you'll ever get in there. Um, but you can see they're very similar looking cars and this but the main difference is this one the growler has a light bar and it works as well <laughs> but you don't want to have a light bar on it i've i did this for hump, hunting zombies um back in the day that was ages ago wasn't it halloween we've got all the armor brakes upgraded um but what we're going to do first off is get rid of that livery so i think we'll make a more simple livery i didn't win this on the prize ride but i put a livery similar to it um so maybe the Fista or the Growler. I'm not sure I like that motif, to be quite honest. So it's going to be the Fista, I think, in white. Yeah, white will do. Okay, so what have we got customization-wise? Let's start from the very start with bumpers. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure, is going to be the discount of the week. Uh, I've got these little lights down here. And... Uh, massive open vent that makes a kind of Chevrolet sign. Um, I quite like the open vent. Stock is open as well. But let's see if those lights work. I think that looks good as well. Although the Chevrolet vent looks good. Okay, let's put let's put this on just to see what the lights are like. Rear bumpers, okay. What are we looking at here? They all look the same. Okay, it doesn't have, compared to the S2 where you can take the bumpers off, it doesn't have that but the stock bumper looks great. Um, maybe the detailing on some of the other bumpers would be worth it. So I don't like these reflector strips. So I'm going to get rid of those dual vented. Um, engine is all upgraded, but we have the strut brace. Oh yeah, you can, you can see it through the window. Well, that's not a lot of use, is it? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How I feel about that strip brace. I don't really want one. Um, looks ridiculous. Uh, let's have a look. Exhaust. So we have a single, this is a stock exhaust, a single one through the mi middle. What? Oh, carbon and titanium, that's why I can't see them. They're all going through the middle. They're all pretty similar. And you've got the infinity exhaust. I like the infinity exhaust. So for that reason, I'm going to pick it, although it's not massively different. Front fenders. This is the same as what we've got on the S2. Okay, but we're not going to do that. Hood, hood catches. Have we got catches? We don't have any. Ridiculous. These ones are quite simple and nice. Um, so I think I'm going to go with simple, probably. What colour are we doing? Red or gold? Or maybe we can do latches. Let's go with simple. Simple is best. Okay. Um, okay, this is the hoods. Your stock hood is there, and I think we might have the best one. Vented, a dished hood, I like that. I think I'm going to be struggling to get one better. We've got that hood, it's similar. Performance hood is similar to the, um, the S2. And you've also got the, the mega vented one, the race vented, secondary colour vented. Hmm, I'm not sure, I want to make a old oh, rally as well. Now that's pretty cool actually, um, but I should have gone for both of those, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to put that on. I'm going to go with this, the rally hood, um, because I like it. Horn and interior. Okay. Dashboard. We've, we've, all, we've got the full carbon effects because this is a race machine. This is the best Porsche LA for racing in tuners races. So there's a, a tip for you there. There's a bit of a reveal. Um, carbon doors, I think we might have the best ones. Aluminium ones are the best. Seats, I don't, I said I, I don't like them carbon seats anymore, so we're going to get rid of them for that reason. Um, carbon fibre. And the bucket. Well, that's the stock seats. Stock seats are pretty damn good, actually. We're going to go stock, because those look nice. Steering wheels, we have the stock wheel, so... I think the stock wheel's great, but maybe we can improve it. It's still got the Porsche symbol in the middle. Oh, actually, that's not. There we go. Rally basic. I like a lot of the basic ones. 
but I don't like that one. Hmm, Apex Basic, I think it will be. Yeah, Apex Basic. Roll cage. We don't have one in at the moment, but as it's a, as it's a rally race, not a rally car, it's a race car. We could do a rally build on this. We're not doing that. We're going to go for the white half cage, I think. Full cage goes all over the shop. Let's go for the half cage. Why not? Okay, lights, headlights. So we've got xenon. We don't want to mess with that yet. Um, no spoiler. What? Lip spoiler. What's that spoiler there then? What the hell? Okay, let's let's get rid of it. I've got none apparently. What? All oh, right, hang on. Is that a different kind of spoiler? It's been ages since I've I've um, done this. This is like months. What the hell is with the spoiler? Spoiler. There it is. Okay, if you want if you want a um, performance upgrade, then you want to get a spoiler. Um, I went big. Oh, but I think either of these would be good, but I don't... I think I prefer it stock, you know? Let's have a look at that and go back to the lip spoilers and see if they do anything at all. They don't do anything for traction, unfortunately. It's just all about the looks. So, for that reason, I'm not going to add a spoiler. Um, Livery, we're not... we've done... Oh, oh tracker, mirrors... Do, do, do. Oh, the secondary... stock mirrors are secondary, or primary. Oh, they're fine as they are. Respray. Respray, this is the important one. Let's go for a metallic look to it. Uh, metallic black looks great. Goes with the green as well, doesn't it? But it's a Porsche. So for that reason, lava red, I think, is it. Yeah, lava red. Gotta be. Okay, very nice. Um, pearlescence, we could add a pearlescent to it. It's already got a pearlescent, I think, with lava red. I think that's what lava red is. We don't need another. So I'm going to leave that. Secondary colour. What have we got now? Cream. Okay, this colours a lot of the internals. And I think cream or ice white is good. Okay, we're going to go ice white just to bring it up a bit. Uplift it. Very nice. And trim colour. Okay, trim. What about the seats? Does that colour the seating? Yes, it does. We could go red, but I'm not sure now. Um, this colours the whole roof. I think black is probably the way to go because we already have the um, the strips, so I think that's fine as it is. Um, nope. Accent colour. Well, we've already got. We've already done it. Frost white. Crew emblem goes there if you want it. Um, rear splitters. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a cleaner build on this. I've gone crazy on the splitters there. I think none is good. Yeah, none. None it is. Um, roof accessories. So we've got a light bar. <laughs> you know, it's got to be none, I think. I don't think any of this stuff is really my my bag. Skirts. We don't. Primary extended is probably good enough. Because we're going for the red look. But I'll show you what you can get. Excellent. Um, splitters we've just done, haven't we? No, we've not. Okay, we're probably going to get rid of it altogether. Give us more ground clearance. They, they're just cosmetic. That's what you can put on. Stock. And spoiler again, you want to put one on if you're racing. Um, but I'm not going to put one on this. Fuckeru, Meinlacht. But we're not going to put a um, sunstrip. Suspension is competition, that's the best. Um, tail lights. Right, we've got the greens, we've got reds. Maybe white would be good. Let's have a look. Um, yellow. Yellow looks nice, you know. But it looks a bit garish, a bit off. Neo. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. Transmission is done, turbo is done, vents. Oh, look at that. You can cover up the side vent to make it less efficient. No, we're not going to do that. Um, we're just going to change the wheel colour, actually. Obviously, yeah. Um, I was tempted by white, but you can't see the clippers in this car. I think black will work. Um, yeah, that looks great. Maybe white, actually. I've just done it, haven't I? 
Can I just go through white? Completely missed it if I did. Colour blind. Straw brown ally. Oh, forget it. Um, tire design, you have the custom tires, but we can get rid of that. If you want a cleaner build, tire enhancements are all there. Purple smoke, yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Isn't it? Wheel type. Now, these are probably high end, yeah, the Hypha. This is a nice rim, I like it, so I'm going to stick with it, I think. Maybe. Oh, carbon rims, look at them. Cheetah Carbon R. Carbonara. I mean, those are cleaner, actually. Um, let's have a look at the track rims. Mega Mesh. Meshmeister. Oh, yes. Our oh, Forge Star. Forge Star is pretty cool. Ice Storm. No, it's got to be Forge Star, I think. I'm going to change it just because it's even more black than normal. Okay. Windows, we could actually tint it out. So either it is a race build, so I don't generally tint out the windows for race builds, but let's go for a light smoke. Right, is it complete? Now so this is this is the, the two cars, the S2 and the Growler. I'd say there's more customization with the S2, but the Growler is better performance wise. We could get it looking pretty similar, except for those front lights blanking them out. So that's the main difference there. You can agree that they do look pretty similar. The rear windows are different. They're quite different with both of these. Um, but you can make them both look nice. There is more customization on the S2. But there's more performance on the Growler. This is the best Porsche. Tuners class Porsche. You'll get a brilliant time on the, on the track just using keyboard and mouse here so that's my uh, disclaimer for when oh we don't have the um, active spoiler as well on the back notice that when I break so that is one downfall to it where's the light let's have a look at this mighty fine looking car okay so we're talking about the test track whoa 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 come on I'll just get my uh, sorry I'm just getting my test track up here the Growler came in at 54.91 on the test track, which is, a, which is a short test track. It's not a tuner's race, of course it's not. And it's got a lot more turns than you would have in tuner's races. Um, so that reason, for that reason it came top of the class out of all the tuner's cars. I'll give you, uh, the S2 came in down at 56.77. So that's like nearly two seconds slower, I think. So two seconds slower. That is a big difference. You're going to race this a lot better. Um, I'd, I'd recommend not stancing it for racing as well. It's got a little bit of understeer, as you can tell there. Sorry, to my dude. But I like that Ouroboros exhaust. It looks great. You can do a nice clean build on this car. You can do it classic. Oh, I'm in the wrong place here. I don't want to go down this tunnel, but here we go. So, yeah. For me, I think this is the purchase of the week. This is the car of the week, the discount of the week, definitely. Without a doubt. For the price, 0.8 to 1.2 million. For a top of the tier tuners class racer. Now, Bruffy1322, you know, he says the um, the RS is faster. And I think it, it probably is. On our, oh, for freaks, I get out of my way, man. I could see that coming. But it, you know, the likes of the RS, the Vector, you know, they are probably faster in races I think a, a lot of the races so on average they're going to be better for you uh, but for me I think on a shorter track I get better performance on this out of uh, the growler and also it's a bit less um, dinky winky well than the than the RS the RS does spin out a bit but less so with the um, with the growler so I probably get more pers consistent performance out of it um, so for that reason you might want to purchase it and even replace it as your top um, tuners class racer maybe but I don't know I still race the RS because I think it it still is I just like racing it better so for that reason you might not want to purchase it um, for the reason if you like Porsches it's a must-have 
it's an essential. If you're a car person, I'd say argue it is an essential. Um, but yeah, if you've got the S2 as well, and you're buying it just for kind of looks purposes and not and not for race performance, then I think it'd be, you'd struggle to find a reason to purchase it, really, over the if you've already got an S2 or a cabriolet perhaps. But you can make a great build, a great clean build. You can make a crazy build. It's got a lot of options. So overall, recommended car for this week. I'd say purchase it. Um, but as ever, it's up to you. Give me your thoughts on what you think of this car, of the Growler. Um, oh yeah, I didn't say the reasoning behind why it's called the Growler. It is because it's a slang word for a lady's genitalia. Just in case you were wondering, um, it's Rockstar being vulgar yet again, and rather childish, if I may add. Um, so for that reason, you might, uh, for that reason, I still would buy it. It's still a great car, even though I disagree with the naming of it. <laughs> Anyway, hope that's been useful. I've gone on for waffled on for long enough. This is a great car. Purchase it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Or, or dislike if you dislike this car, which you really shouldn't. You really shouldn't. You should like it. It's great.